Your Windows PC laptop runs dozens of background services, each quietly working to enhance functionality, maintain compatibility, or collect data for Microsoft. But among them, there are also services that aren't particularly useful. These quietly consume CPU, memory, and bandwidth, sometimes slowing down even a perfectly healthy PC. Now, you might not notice them at first, but over time, these services can also affect the battery life of your laptop. But today in this video guys, I'm going to share a few unwanted services that I bet that majority of the people are not using. They are still running. They are eating your resources, your bandwidth, even your battery. So it's a better that you should go ahead and disable them if you really want to enhance the performance and reduce the load on your CPU and memory. And the very first service is Windows Update Delivery Optimization. So Windows Update Delivery Optimization is designed to speed up update for other PC on your local network by sharing bits of previously downloaded update file. On paper, it's a neat idea but in practice it can quietly consume your bandwidth and even slow down your PC when at least expected. So what you can do, you can right click on the Windows icon and bring up the settings. In the setting from the left hand side you will have to click on Windows Update. And here under the additional option, you will find delivery optimization. And if you click on it, at the top, you find an option allowed download from other devices. And it says if you turn this on, your device may send part of your previously downloaded Windows update and app to devices on your local network. And it's really not required. So just go ahead and disable this. Now, next, we have to disable the Windows Mobile Hotspot service. The mobile hotspot service lets your PC act as a Wi-Fi hotspot, sharing its internet connection with a phone, tablet, or other PC and laptop. Now, this can be useful when you use it, but doesn't make sense if you don't use it, as it takes a lot of bandwidth and eat a lot of resources. And I believe that none of you might be using it to make your PC or laptop as a Wi-Fi hotspot. In case if you use, then you can leave it. But if you are not using it, it's a better choice that you should go ahead and disable them. So in order to disable this, you will have to bring up the services. So click on Windows search, type services and hit the enter key. And here you will have to look for a service by the name Windows Mobile Hotspot Service. Make a double click on it. In the startup type, choose it to disable. Make sure the status is being stopped. And click on apply and click on OK. All right. And now the next one is telemetry and the Windows error reporting. Now you all might know that Microsoft collect a variety of user data crash report and the usage pattern and even many other system information saying that they want to improve your experience. I really don't think so. And if you also value your privacy, then you should go ahead and disable all these options. So again, here in the services, you will have to look for connected user experience telemetry to so come to the C section. And you will find here connected user experience and telemetry. Make a double click on it. Even if you want to read about it, you can read it. Click on the startup type, make it to disable. Click on stop. Click on apply and click on OK. Then you also need to disable Windows error reporting. So come to the W section and look for Windows error reporting. Here it is, Windows error reporting services. Again, make a double click on it. Startup type, choose it to disable. Stop the service, click on apply and click on OK. Now, after disabling these two services, your privacy will be maintained and the Microsoft will not be collecting any kind of your information. Now, after this, we also need to disable the program compatibility assistant service. Now, using these services, Windows lets you run older program that were designed for previous version of the operating system. So let's say if you are on Windows 11 and if you wish to run any kind of application that was compatible with Windows XP or Windows 7, then in such scenarios, this feature, this service program compatibility assistant was very useful. But I believe that on modern computer, like on Windows 10 or 11, nobody is going to run the older version of Windows 7 or Windows XP. So again, it's not recommended to keep the service enabled. Look here for the program compatibility assistant. So come in the P section somewhere you will find it. Here it is program compatibility assistant service. Make a double click on it. Startup type, choose it to disable, click on stop to stop the service, click on apply and click on OK. OK, and now the next service that we have to disable will be the sysmain, which was previously called Superfetch. And it's a Windows service designed to speed up any application loading time by preloading the frequently used program into your PC's memory. But nowadays, most of the people are using the SSD on their modern computer. 
on their PC or laptop, which are already very fast and we don't need any kind of these services. But yes, if you are still using the hard drive on your PC or laptop, you can skip this service and do not disable the sysmain. But yes, if you are using the SSD and still if this uh, sysmain service has been enabled, this can cause the high disk and the memory usage as it constantly analyzing your usage pattern and shuffles data around. Alright, so again in the services, you will have to look for the sysmain. Once you get it, make a double click on it. Startup type, choose it to disable, stop the service. Click on apply and click on OK. Alright, and now the last thing that you have to notice that you have to also disable the third party app services. So many third party application also launch their own background services without realizing you. And it doesn't make sense if you don't use them and still they run on the background. But the problem is you won't find them all here in the services. So what you will have to do, click on the Windows search, type MS config. From the suggestion, you will have to click on system configuration. Then here from the top, you will have to click on services. Then check the box of hide all Microsoft services. And this will display me all the third party application only. Now here you will find many applications that you were using before, but now you're not using them, but they're still uh, they are being enabled over here. So spend some time here. Look for the application that you don't want to use or you're not using anymore. Just go ahead and uncheck them from here. Once you are done, just go ahead and click on apply and OK. And now you will be good to go. So now after applying all these changes, once you restart the computer, you will be surely finding the difference in the CPU load and in the memory load, even in the bandwidth. And your PC or laptop will be now really happy. So that's all guys for today and if you like the video please hit the like subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.